Hey everyone, welcome to the Ask Best Show. I'm Bess McCarty, helping you to a better life. Topic today is how do you pray? And uh, this might not be quite what you think. I'm a spiritual person, not religious, but there's an aspect of this maybe will be interesting. Um, and it's the difference between directed prayer and non-directed prayer. Directed prayer is where we say, God, um, make this happen. I want this to happen like we know what's best. And non-directed prayer simply says, thy will be done. You know better than me what everybody in this circumstance needs, what's best for the good of the whole, as well as for me and everyone connected. And let me align myself with that. So they did a, a study um, on molds, a scientific study on molds. They had this little Petri dish. They divide the, the dish into two sections, mold into two sections. For one section, they prayed for the mold to grow. And for the other section, they simply said, thy will be done. That's what they prayed. So they measured the difference and they actually got better results with the non-directed prayer. Isn't that interesting? Um, so sometimes when we say, God, just give me this and then I'll be happy, you know, I'll be okay. We might miss the purpose of that setup. That setup might be a condition that had a special reason to it, you know, for the spiritual benefit of all concerned or special lesson to learn. Like if we have a bossy coworker, let's say somebody's bo bossing us at, at work and we pray, God, remove that person or God, make that person nice to me. We may miss the lesson that is in, inside of that. Like what if the lesson was that I needed to set boundaries or say no or ask my boss for help or, or have a talk where I could understand that person, they could understand my feelings and needs in turn. So they might miss that. Here's another example. Um, a few years back, I was one of three house parents for six handicapped kids. And these kids were ages, they were teenagers, they were ages 13 to 16, and their mentality was about age one to four. So they were physically and mentally handicapped. And um, we actually lived with these kids and taught them every day. We were house parents. And in the backyard, we set up an obstacle course um, for their, to develop their skill and agility and strength and everything. So what we did is we set up um, tires all through the backyard and that they had to step in and out of, you know, and then um, obstacles that they had to climb over and things they had to climb under and all that. And the kids seemed to enjoy it um, like a game. But what if, what if they didn't? What if they went to bed every night and they said, God, please remove the obstacles from the backyard. All I want to do is get out there to a chair, you know, and get out there to swing. Give me, give me a, a lawn that's just a nice lawn to walk across instead of these obstacles that I have to walk in and out and under and over and all that stuff. Um, then they would have missed if they said, please remove the obstacles. Just let me go out to my, my swing or my chair. They would have missed the, the strength, the, the, the agility, the endurance, and the skill, the walking skill and physical strength that they developed as a result of doing that. So isn't that like, like us sometimes in life? You know, we may want to, we may pray to God to change the government or take away the virus that people don't get it. We might not see the, the gifts of the virus, the things that, that we are learning from it as a result. You know, God, take away this cancer that I have. Maybe the cancer is there to teach me to learn to eat better or think better or stress less. All those things can cause cancer. So um, uh, just a thought. Love to hear your thoughts below. What do you think of this? Whether you're for or against, I'd love to hear your opinion. I, let's keep the discussion going below. And remember, if you like this material on the Ask, on the, the Best McCarty channel, please subscribe and share with others or tag others below. Um, please leave your comments. I really do want to hear your thoughts. And of course, I like your, your likes. So thank you for joining in um, here to offer a better life. There's some free tools and gifts below as well. Everybody take care. Bye-bye. Love you.